All right, so today I'm going to look at the swivel device and uh, how we can use it with an iPad mini to record um, classroom sessions. So um, I just unpacked the swivel device and there are two pieces. So there's a remote and then there's the base. Each piece has its own batteries that it needs. So in the remote, I had to put uh, two triple A's and in the base, I had to put two double A's. And so those go in this back slot here. Now, once you have batteries in them, you need to turn them both on. To do that, you hold down the record button, you hold it down until it turns red, and you hold it down on the base as well until the base turns red. So, and then they'll both turn green, showing that they're connected to one another. Um, so once you do that, as you move your hand slowly with the remote, you should see that the swivel base follows the remote. Now, it goes horizontally, it can also go vertically. So if I hold down the activity button, so the top button, and then move my hand slowly up and down, the swivel will go up and down as well. Okay, so that's the swivel. I'm going to pause the swivel though. If I press the activity button twice, you'll see the record button is now blinking. That means that it's paused, and so it's not going to move and follow the, uh, the remote. Now I have an iPad mini here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my iPad mini. Put in my password. All right, now that it's on, you'll see in order to put it into the, um, the base, I have to adjust this tightening mechanism here. Now I want it to be just tight enough so that it barely, uh, it's a little snug, just a tiny bit snug on my device. So now when I put my iPad mini down in here, I can lock it. And that was maybe a little tight. I could loosen it a little bit more. And so that'll hold it tight. Now I can adjust it the way that I need to move it. Um, I'm going to start by just using the built-in camera app on an iPad mini. So I'm going to click camera. And when it comes up, there are two cameras on an iPad mini. There's a front camera and a back camera. It's using the back camera. So you can see it's back here. Um, I'm going to switch that, so I'm going to click this button to switch it. And now you have a close-up of me. Um, it also starts by default on photo. I'm going to switch that to video. And I'm going to click record. All right, so now it's recording. I'm going to turn back on my swivel. So press the activity button again. And I'm going to take my swivel and I'm going to just put it in my pocket right here. Now, the nice thing about an iPad mini is I can see the screen um, from far away. So even when I back away, if I'm teaching in a class, so I come up to a whiteboard, I can still see um, what, what is seen on my iPad mini. So I'm going to come up here and just start writing uh, like I was giving a lecture. So I'm going to draw some diagrams. And as I do that, you'll see, and as I move around the room, the iPad mini follows me on the swivel. If I have a student over here and I want to walk over to the student for classroom management purposes or to help a student with problems, you'll see that the, the swivel follows me and it has complete 360 degree rotation so I could go anywhere in the room. Um, once again, you see my height in the, in the iPad mini is okay. Um, if I get like really far away, I might be getting down on the screen. Again, I can adjust the height by holding down the activity button and going up and down. Now this, it doesn't work quite as well as um, the horizontal features, but you can get it to work. Otherwise, you can just walk up and just push it down a little bit. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and stop recording. So I'm going to walk up to my swivel. I'm going to pause the swivel again so it doesn't move around. And I'm going to stop my recording on, camera, on the camera app. Now, that's one way to use, use, the cam or use, uh, use recording on the Swivel. Um, that's using the built-in camera app. Now, there's also a Swivel app that you can use. Now, to use that, you need to pull out this little cord that's wrapped around the base of the Swivel. And you're going to need an adapter because an iPad mini uses a lightning port and the Swivel has a 30 pin. So you need a 30 pin to lightning port adapter. So plug that in. Plug it into the side here. Make sure that the cord is up enough that it's not going to be um, scraping on, on your desk. 
And you may get a couple of warnings when it comes in. It'll, it'll ask if, it, if, it'll, if you won't allow it to communicate. Now, I already have the Swivel app installed. The first time you plug it in, though, you won't. And it'll bring up the App Store. Now, this is one tricky thing about, the, about this. So if you do a search for um, If you open your App Store and do a search for Swivel, by default, the iPad search is only for iPad only. And for some reason, the Swivel app is not listed as an iPad app. It's listed as an iPhone app. So you have to click iPad only and switch that to iPhone only. And now you'll see the Swivel app. So now if you click on this, you can install it. It's a free app. Um, once you have it installed, you'll have the icon here. And this communicates with your swivel. Um, again, you can switch the camera. If it's on the wrong camera, just switch it to the right camera. And the cool thing about this is that you can turn on the record remotely. So um, I'm going to stop the uh, unpause it so it'll follow me. And now it's recording. Now, if I'm walking around my classroom and I want to record just a specific uh, few minutes, of my teaching, I can turn on the recorder and then I can turn it off. So if I press record again, you'll notice that it's not recording anymore. Um, and then I can pause the swivel, pause it so that I can approach it. So that's basic use of the swivel. Um, once you record these videos, you can plug your iPad into a computer and transfer the video that way, or you can upload it um, to a cloud service, so like Google Drive or something like that. Um, we'll, we'll look into that some more in some future videos, but that's the basics.